<laughs> if you've never been here for Practical Doug before, uh, Practical Doug is a small Doug that lives inside Large Doug. It answers a lot of life's questions for Large Doug, and he can also answer questions for you. You can join us live here on YouTube as we stream on Tuesday nights at 7 Central. And you can ask in the chat there. You can join our Discord. There's a Ask Practical Doug channel, and it's lovely. You can hashtag Ask Practical Doug on any social media, and you can ask us just uh, at MindGap Podcast and let us know. Um, today's Practical Doug, though, comes from Emilio. Who, and Doug, who posted this in our Discord channel, by the way. So Yes, he did. Uh, so if you want to ask questions like this, join Discord and find us. If it was affordable, Doug, would you replace pieces of your body with cybernetic versions? My follow question to that would be like right now, like today, meaning like in yes. the current time that we're in, probably not because I don't think it's secure enough. Okay. I don't think it's come far enough to where it would be very safe. It would seem very much experimental and okay. incredibly dangerous. Um, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, as this stuff becomes to get refined, possibly, depending on what it is, you know, we have going on. And because uh, again, if we're talking like cyberpunk level shit, you know, if we're talking right. like full metal alchemist level shit where you can get metal, you know, like, you know, auto mail and, you know, cyber cyberpunk is a world where it's like, oh, do you basically want to have superpowers? <laughs> right. Well, let me ask you this. What would you replace then? So like, let's say, let's say the, the technology caught up and we were at that level right now. Mm -hmm. Would you replace your arms? Both? One? None? Would you do a leg? Would you do an eye? Um, you know what would be interesting? Would possibly eyes because I have bad eyesight. Okay. It would be interesting to potentially upgrade that because... For the longest time, I've been holding out on LASIK because I'm like, I still don't know what the after effects are on that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it'd be nice to have, uh, you know, pretty good vision. Also, it'd just be kind of cool to see, like, if we could see the different spectrums that exist out there. Right. Okay. I like that. Ultra Probably be maddening yeah. if you could just turn it. All of a sudden, you see all the germs floating around. You'd be like, ah, you'd probably lose your mind. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. You'd probably never go on the subway ever again. You know, oh, no. you'd be like, ah. You Definitely wouldn't lick the pole. No, well, I mean, we'll see. But um, it would be it would be kind of wild to do that. Yeah. Some of the other stuff like arms, legs, not as keen about that because, especially if it gives me unnatural and unearned strength, then I think it just it, it would feel like a cheat, you know? Interesting. Like. It's like, oh, yeah, you can have these arms now that can just lift whatever you want them to. Or I'll be like, hey, don't lift beyond this because this is the maximum torque that this you know device can handle sort of situation. <laughs> uh, but yeah. even if it's more than I could ever naturally lift, I'm like, what, what yeah. do I need this for? You know? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what other potential cybernetic stuff you could put in there. Um, if there was a way to maybe just you know, put a USB from my brain into the computer... Or something See, like now that. See, we're talking about wetware, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what I feel like the cybernetic well, no, I mean, stuff is. Probably cybernet yeah, like because like, you're not you're not doing software at that point, but there is a there's a jack for it, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I, I think really, I don't know. There's not a ton I would want to do because <laughs> I say this right now, but if someone's like, if you did this, it would extend your life. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't By how right much now. is the question? I was like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, you know, the idea of living to a hundred. I'm just like, no, I don't think so. See, uh, right now, I'm I'm in that camp. Of I'd like, be like, I'd be like, yeah, hundred. Yeah, I'd be like, ah. uh, there was a great joke from Tom Segura where he's talking about uh, he knew this old guy and he said he just got to the point where it's like, hey man, how you doing? He's like, unfortunately, still here. <laughs> he's just like, what? Why are you so bummed? He's like. He won't take me. <laughs> you know, he's just like, <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I've never understood people uh, when 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 people are are getting up to the age and they've expressed that sentiment of just like, I'm good. I just can't. I mean, and maybe I will once I get closer to that age. I'll start to understand that mentality. But at this point, I just don't understand. Oh, yeah. how right now, we're we're going to be turning forty. It's like we still yeah. have we're at the halfway point. 
Well, for you to live to 100, not quite the halfway point. But yeah, <laughs> I imagine what you st- I have to imagine just when your body starts to just fucking deteriorate and break down. Yeah. And your limited mobility, possibly cognitive decline. You get to watch everyone else around you die. The people that you love and yeah. maybe some of the even younger people that you love that just don't come visit you because it's weird. You're probably just right. like, I can only do so much wee bowling here. All right. Like I want to. <laughs> I mean, I'll be the old guy in the nursing home who's like, what kind of internet do you got here? And can you take my computer? Because I need to make sure that I can game whenever right. I want to. I'm going to play <laughs> Overwatch 2 with my friends. Yeah. You know, like that's the kind of stuff that I'll, I'll be doing. Yeah. Um, but I can understand to some, imagine just being in a nursing home, just being like, Jesus Christ, this sucks. Please just yeah. let it end. And be like, why won't you take me? <laughs> I mean, look, I've got, I've got two Two uh, two grandparents have passed from uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, and uh, two are in the throes of it right now. And so, watching them in the in you know the assisted living facilities and the memory care wards, it is it's bleak, man. It's yeah. very bleak, and that terrifies the ever loving shit out of me. That yeah. might terrify me more than anything is just losing slowly losing your mind. And just that is easily flesh. number one, yeah, like losing your mind, losing just yeah. what's going on. It's a close second to that is just losing mobility. Like yeah. my yep. dad just going out trying to do walks and he slips and falls on the ice. Like he just doesn't have the same mobility that he used to. And I'm like, fuck, yeah. you know, I try to use the stairs as much as possible because I'm like, at some point I'm probably not going to be able to do the stairs. Right. I'm going to have to wait for a fucking elevator or something like that. And that's going to suck. Like when I'm confined to that, you know, I see... Like at Disney World, I see people all the time in like those those little carts, and, and yeah. I just told Jill, I'm like, D- don't ever take me here if I need one of those. Like, I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like it just seems like such a pain in the ass to yeah. me. And I'm glad they're inclusive there, but I'm like, I don't want to be the guy that's just. I, I just remember last time we were there, two old folks were trying to drive their way through the line at Test Track, and they could barely like doing like an Austin Powers turn trying to get around the curves. Cause I think they went in where they weren't supposed to, or they didn't know. And it's just yeah. like, yeah, I'm like, you poor fucks. I just feel so bad. And they're just like, rrr, 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 trying to turn and go. Yeah. And then this, I'm like, God damn it. You know, this is just, or the poor fucks that are like, I have to go get groceries. And I just sit down in the cart when they get there, and nee, you know, around the store, not because they're fat, just because they're like, I don't, I, it's hard to walk. I can't walk around the yeah. store. Yeah. It's just like, oh, God. It's rough. yeah, it, it's, it's no, it's no joke that that loss of sense of, of mobility gives you a loss of freedom, gives you just a loss of, and, and not to mention that, but if you still have your, uh, if you're still aware, then you definitely feel, you feel the attention on you. Cause it's hard not to, when, when someone comes by in a rascal, it's just for whatever reason, it's just, you, you look, you watch them go by. So you've got everyone's, even if it's not for a prolonged period, you've got everyone's eyes on you momentarily as you roll by. And it's just, that's got to weigh on you. That just well, I, would, I would say at that point, you probably stop giving a fuck. You know, you got that old, old person, thick skin where you're like, I don't fucking care. As you walk by again, you know, you're just like just staring at him, making eye contact. You're like, yeah, I just did that. Come clean me up. Linda, Linda, come <laughs> clean just, me up. Another thing that I don't understand, though, right? Like, because at this point, all I can think about is, is that that uh, that drawing that unwanted attention? But you know, again, maybe when you get to that age, things change, and you do have that I don't yeah. give a shit attitude. I'm slowly know. working my way towards some of those things. Some of the things I used to be really like I hate to do. I'm just like I don't fucking care. I'm gonna do yeah. this because I need to get this done or whatever. I can, I'm able to overcome it a little bit more now. Yeah. So some of the things suck, but I'm like whatever. I'm just gonna go do this. Yeah. Um, seven says everything loses its sense of novelty or it becomes overwhelming all your friends and family pass gets lonely etc I'm like I'm with you buddy like yeah. the idea when I was younger for a brief time I'm like oh wow being able to live forever that would be the coolest power in the world I'm like that would be the worst curse you could ever bestow upon me it's like you're gonna live forever I'm like great I'm gonna slowly lose my attachment to humanity I'm gonna become Dr. Manhattan because none of this is gonna matter because I'm gonna outlive everybody and ultimately I'll get trapped under something because that is a statistical inevitability that somewhere somehow I because just I will be alive forever eventually I'll get trapped somewhere that's going to happen and there's nothing I, I can do about it well I've never thought of that that's yeah. such a good point it's just going to happen yeah. I will just be around long enough and it says everything too is like great I get to be around here when this planet dies either by human humans doing it or the sun's yeah. going to explode hooray you know well, and then at that point the question is do you keep living 
and just float through space or do is will that then end you that's a great question right thank like, god we don't have to figure that out because Amen. that is a horrifying prospect unto itself of just like yeah. great now you exist in space right fuck that there you go so uh to answer the question would you replace pieces of your body with cybernetic versions at the moment no, no. is your answer down the road we'll see yeah we'll, we'll see. see where we're at we'll see yeah we'll see this there has been pr- ask practical doug thank you <laughs> thank you for coming to this <laughs>